for now this is the final episode for this series right here owner's mode but don't get me wrong once I get the retail version of Madden 25 we're gonna jump right back into you know connected franchise player mode and owner's mode we're gonna start everything fresh once the retail version comes out so here it is we got into the final stage in the last episode we chose you know we chose a new stadium we chose a new name we chose brand new uniforms and here are the uniforms that i decided to go with the black knights right here and the reason why i decided to go with those is because of the popularity poll if you want your fan happiness to be skyrocketed then you're gonna probably want to choose what's best according to the fans and that's the popularity vote and then last but not least we chose the stadium obviously there's 10 stadiums that you can choose from there's outdoor there's indoor and i kept looking through all of these and the one that i came across that i fell in love with was this one right here the deluxe sphere and that is the one that i decided to go with so we are finally into you know heading into our new stadium but first you have to simulate the season that you are currently in obviously look at this we ended up in the nfc championship game but we could not quite make it to the super bowl like i said if you want to advance and move into the new place the new new relocation you first have to simulate the season that you're currently in and look at this the lions are facing the broncos in the super bowl and finally we have started a brand new season and we have simulated into week number two where we are gonna get to take a look at my brand new stadium we got the philadelphia eagles coming in here and this is go definitely going to be a huge matchup. The Black Knights. I know you guys are used to seeing this as uh, the Washington Redskins. But since we are ro relocated now in London, England, we are now called the Black Knights. So let's get this started. We're here in London as the NFL has officially gone global. And what an historic occasion this should be today. said it right intense is the right word when you play a division rival all the knowledge you know about that football team what can you take how can you change what you do and catch the other team off guard also the other thing when you play your rivalry team you've got to keep your emotions in ready for the kickoff and he's tackled just past the 20 will mark it at the 22 yard line as we prepare for our first possession, I just want to warn you guys that you might be seeing players that are going to make you go, what the heck? Because I picked up three players from the free agency. We got to keep to leave. Darren McFadden, which you guys saw from the intro, and Hakeem Nix as well. As you see, Alfred Morris right there making that hurdle attempt. And now RGT is going to come out, and he's going to find Hakeem Nix for that 15-yard reception. So we're going to keep the chains moving right here. Look at Alfred Morris with this rush, and he's going to break a tackle. He could take this one all the way, but he gets stopped at the 16-yard line. Now RGT is going to step back and find Leonard Hankerson. Wow! wide open and he is just gonna be a yard short but no problem because we're gonna do a fake handoff but rg3 comes up short so third and goal right here he's gonna step back and that is out of hakeem nix's hand so we're gonna try one more time on fourth down you see polson makes the reception but he is just inches short of a first down so a bold move right there by the coach but it does not pay off so here comes lashawn mccoy Look at that stiff arm punch. That is just a crazy animation right there. And then Jason Avant right here. He gets popped on the play. And Williams is right there to recover the ball. So just like that, we get the ball back at our own territory. RG3 is stepping back. Leonard Hankerson, who's having a pretty game so far, comes up big with that reception once again. And then RG3 gets tackled on the play. But he's able to let it go to the man of the you know the game. Leonard Hankerson once again. And making yet another reception. RG3 now, what's going to happen here? Will we get stopped once again? Vincent Schenkel makes the reception and he is able to break loose of that tackle and pick up a first down. But you see RG3 right here on the toss play. You know, he tried to give it to Alfred Morris, but Alfred Morris was obviously being tackled on a play. So that one is yet another turnover. So the Eagles were able to capitalize on the play. So now, you know, I, I just had it. I have to get something going here. No more turnovers for me. So I get started by getting that nice pass to Hakeem Nix. If I'm going to try to win this game, I have to give the ball to him. I have to give him more touches, more opportunities. 
So here comes RG3 right here. And you can tell that Smith is left wide open. I believe that is Brad Smith. But we also picked up from free agency. Here comes Robert Griffin. Look at that spin move as he goes in for the first touchdown of the game. Let's wait for that signature touchdown. Look at this. That is the first touchdown of the game for us, obviously. And the thing, things are tied up now. 7-7. Seven seven. Look at this nice grab by Hakeem Nix. Just goes up and gets it. I just feel bad for that defender. He's going to be on top 10 plays tonight for sure. I mean, he just looked terrible on that play. And then Alfred Morris is going to tap this one in for the second touchdown of the game. And just like that, we are up 14-7. So you see the Eagles... They get a field goal up on the board, but with us keeping this momentum going, they're not looking so good right here. We're in the fourth quarter, seven minutes left. RG3 stepping back. Ooh, that was a dangerous pass. But Akeem Nix is right there with the reception. He's going to step back one more time right here. This possession can end it. Hankerson is right there for another reception. What a game he's having. And once again, RG3 right here. Look at this. Ooh, if only he broke that tackle, he could have taken that one to the house. What will he do right here? He's stepping back. And he finds a man. But Hakeem Nix can't quite hang on to that ball. So we're going to yet settle for another field goal and uh looks like they're gonna be getting the ball back with a lot of opportunity there's three minutes left we couldn't quite capitalize on our possession right there because we easily could have went up by two possessions so here comes the philadelphia eagles they get stopped on fourth and inches and surprisingly they actually decided to punt i mean knowing the time on the clock I would have probably went for it, but they decided to punt the ball, and I'm going to show them why that was a mistake. Look at be wide open, but I'm also wide open myself with RG3. So that scramble right there is basically going to burn all their timeouts, and this right here is basically the icing on the cake. So you guys saw the relocation of my team, the Washington Redskins turned into the Black Knights and I just hope you guys enjoyed this mini series that I have for the time being like I said once I get the retail version you guys are going to be seeing more owners mode more franchise mode and specifically more connected career so that is it for the time being we are now going to go back into the main menu you see RG3 talking to his owner which is you know me and that's probably it for this series hope you guys enjoyed it it's your boy on the boss and i am signing out if you guys want to stay updated on when all my videos will be uploaded make sure you follow me on twitter twitter.com slash onto the boss